your buddy Kendra here. So did you know that there is research that states that if you are spanking and screaming at your kid, um, it actually changes the gray matter in their brain and it enlarges certain parts of brains of their brain and shrinks other parts of their brain, especially if this is a reoccurring thing. Um, so also, we have to think about it in this way, that you're teaching your child that a person who's supposed to protect them, it's okay if it, they hurt them. And a person who's supposed to be keeping them safe, it's okay if they're abused by them. Because just because they're a kid and you're the authority in their life, um, think about this. They're going to grow up and they're going to have a lot of different authority figures in their life. So you're teaching them that it's okay that authority figures who have power over them are harming them in some way, physically, emotionally, etc. So you are teaching them this because you are their teacher. You are modeling how to manage your emotions, how to manage your behaviors. And if you're not modeling it to them on how to manage their big emotions and managing their big feelings, especially if the child is, um, has, is really sensitive, right? Big feeling kid, then I mean, they're not going to know how to do it. So it's really important to unlearn, reparent yourself and learn different ways of handling these situations. I have a parenting link below. There are books, websites, podcasts. Um, follow these people on their social media if you have an account. They have nuggets of information. So it's out there. The information is out there and it's challenging to do this and reparent yourself and to model these things. It is challenging. It's a lot of effort, but it's going to be worth it in the long run because your child may develop in a way that is more secure, more able to be flexible, more able to manage themselves and their emotions more able to really handle life experiences, which can't be done if the nervous system is continually dysregulated and they don't really know how to regulate their nervous system, or if they feel that they owe authority figures something and they let them abuse them. Or the other way, which I didn't say, is instead of letting someone abuse you, they're just very rigid and completely avoidant, right? So that affects their attachment style. All right. So if you value the content I create, please like, subscribe and share. Bye.